Hey folks, welcome to the beginning of this madness. You know this is either going to end in me getting knocked out reasonably early, or it's going to end in absolute madness and insanity. And salt. Um, so we're playing Ohm. Here we are. We are pinned in the corner of Arkea. I remember, because I was working with, uh, with Boz a little bit when he was getting the map set up and we fucked up some of these connections by the way but anyway we were looking at trying to balance out some of the starts i was like man dude we have too many coastal starts there was another start right here and we got rid of this one at least <laughs> but like i don't know it's there's a mess the problem with this is that every thing like every place i can go to like let's try to find a province without a water connection nope nope Nope. 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 Okay, the island's up here. Nope. 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 Here's one. Here's one. So the problem with this is everything I'm going to go to is potentially... Uh eligible for coastal rating it's horrible in that way but look guys this is not this is not like a tournament this is not the most balanced game this is fucking insanity is what this is that is exactly what this is this is insanity <clears throat> and er therefore we will continue to complain a little bit but mostly we're going to get ready to do some crazy insane shit. We have Mr. Wiggles. Uh, he is ready to go. Ready to lift some weights. We're getting uh, this dude to get our... Uh, we'll profit him because he gets the reforming flesh, which is kind of nice. And he's kind of a beast. I mean, he's actually probably like pretty heavily thuggable in friendly dominion. So we'll have to see. Um, we're also going to get fortune tellers. I want to site search nature. <clears throat> Though, honestly, site searching air is probably a little bit more important. The other thing is, like, I could get these guys instead, but they're way more expensive. And I don't have the money right now. And we're getting rangers. Uh, how many nations are in the game? I mean, just feast your eyes on this. Yeah, there we go. Um, interestingly... Uh, one of the players messages me on turn one, and they say that they're starting here. And the reason they're messaging me is just because they said it looks like the Ulm Reich is not going to uh, establish itself, or something like that. Because I think in the pregame chat I was joking about how I'm going to take over Europe. Um, and here I am starting in the UK, so... Uh, I can't think of a time where the UK has ever taken over all of Europe, so I don't know if this is fated to happen or not. But uh, anyway, so I actually, he does, I haven't told him my start here. And I'm like five turns in ahead of this. He still doesn't know, I don't think, that I started here. And there's going to be a player that starts here, and there's a starting spawn here. So you can see we're like super pinned in. I'm going to have to fight one of them. I'm, I'm going to have to fight both of them, right? But I don't. hopefully I only fight one of them at a time. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. Um, but I'm also going to try to, my goal for this is to try to control these islands, try to control all of this, try to get a foothold on land and be well prepared to have a very aggressive early war. Because I think there's not enough land. It's going to be a bit of a mess. If I have all of Europe... Or most all of Europe. I'll be pretty happy. And then I guess I can... Sort of invade. How the fuck do you cross just this one spot? Oh, I can go across the island chain here. Okay. Anyway. It's going to be madness. It's going to be absolute madness. The other problem to, to continue on the complaining grant with this kind of geography for me is it bleeds my dominion out so i can't easily 
like in test games, my dominion would sp spread to provinces and then those I would conquer. But I've got so many different water connections that it's going to just bleed my dominion dry. And furthermore, once there's a water nation set up in here, it's just going to, it's, I'm not going to have any dom pressure. All of our, cause a lot of times you, you build up a lot of dom pressure in the core lands and it pushes outwards. Well, here it's going to get all intermixed with the water stuff. What I may try to do is early on get a ring of water breathing and try to claim some of this and just say, but that may not be wise. So I'll probably claim it when a water nation is at war with another water nation. Just say, sorry, go get wrecked. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I probably, act, I don't know. The, we have a few ways we can get underwater. One is going to be... Uh, Sin Lesser Horror, because we can do this underwater. We cannot cast it underwater, but we can target underwater, I believe. Um, yeah, that's the main way. We can also summon some skeletons, but that's the main way. So anyway, that's turn one. Let's go to turn two. Turn two. Bunch... bunch of messages and we did not get a nature random we got an astral random we're prophetizing this dude uh this dude is moving out over here my dragon this is a little risky we're sending our dragon he doesn't have any of the bonus hp yet we're gonna send him over here because this is a super high population province it's two th uh, twenty thousand, which is huge so we're gonna send him over here to conquer fire 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 closest Here's what's going to happen. The heavy cab are going to run to the front. They're going to lance charge my dragon. He's going to get angry. He's going to stomp them around. The light cav are going to start shooting me. And the militia, uh, they're going to march forward. Ideally, all the heavy cab have routed before the militia get there. And ideally, ideally, I have a chance to get at least one breath attack off on the militia. Because the light cab are going to sit there and shoot me. This is risky, but it's not super risky. Um, all of these guys, except for the hoof attack, are going to be doing piercing damage, which we have piercing resistance. It's actually the heavy infantry that kind of messed me up the most. Um, because they hit pretty hard and they have slashing damage, which we're not resistant to. So, anyway. That is where we're headed. And we're headed up here. And we're getting two more fortune tellers. And we're getting more of these dudes. And we're sending our scout down here. I want to see who's starting here. I know who started here because the guy... I mean, what are the odds? The odds are, like, so small that he started next to me. Because, uh, you know, I could be anywhere. I could be on a different freaking planet. And it's... He is... Uh, God, I don't know if I can find it. Oh, he's this nation, right? Uh, row my canoe gently over your dreams. Pretty hilarious. It's a sailing nation, which is kind of good for him here. Like, he could... He might be able to hit my cap. No, not quite. He'll be able to raid the shit out of me through sailing. Potentially. Potentially. Um, <clears throat> anyway, that is turn two. Let's go to turn three. Turn three... We send Mr. Wiggles in. Got a very good breath attack off there. Unfortunately, they didn't run. The heavy cab is running now. And if we just did the militia, it would be fine. But they're running, and now we run into the horse archers. And this is when we're going to start taking damage, because these guys have lances. Oh, no, they only have spears. I thought they had lances for some reason, but we're down to 70 HP. And we're going to, I think we're going to move here next turn and get further surrounded. And now we're about to get kind of low. And these guys, they hit with this uh, sword, which did that slashing damage. So we had three guys hit for the slashing. Did a lot of damage. 
And now these guys are running. We're fine. So we got them to 40. You know, we got them to a quarter HP. A little risky. And then down here, we've got a battle. Or up here, we've got a battle with uh, some indies. Our starting force. Yoink. Okay. We, what do we name our prophet? Danny McBride? I think Mr. Wiggles... Well, I could be wrong. I didn't take the time to research it, but if recollection... Uh, if recollection... I can't talk. If my recollection is correct, Mr. Wiggles was the cat of Danny McBride and Pineapple Express. Um, so we'll, we'll see. I'm not sure if he is, but I think he is. We're going to move here. I want to go ahead and get this corridor cleaned off. Um, and this is a this is going to lock in the island. I don't want people getting funny ideas. So we're going to come over here. Um, hopefully he doesn't cut. He could be a bastard and try to get up here. There's actually kind of a lot of provinces on this little island. I think there's what five on this little one. So that's going to be important to get. Um, yeah. Got a blood random this time. Not getting super lucky with the randoms. Uh, over here, we're going to consolidate down here and hit this this province that has the, the pale ones in it. This is a cave province. So we're going to hit this, and then we're going to probably come up here and take these. Um, unfortunately, this is a dead end over here. Like, if, I, if this throne was in here, I'd be able to go through it, and then we could come and potentially raid over here. Uh, but because it does exist, we can't go through it, and so instead we're going to have to turn our ass around and slow walk back. Uh, moving the dragon down this way, a little bit risky, because we could... Well, we're, we're not going to bump. We know that, because I have a scout here, which means I get to see all the flags of Jason. So I know there's nobody right here, so this is probably safe. Next turn, we're going to go to turn four. Turn four. Get a few battles. Going in against pale ones. This is in a cave, so we get a pretty big stat penalty. Did we lose anybody? We lost one infantry of all. Now, this is not in our dominion. Uh, versus these kinds of things, it tends to not matter that much. Mostly because because they march in so slow, we're able to get a lot more of the breath attacks off. Yoink. Okay. Uh, here come our luck scales already. That minus 10 income, sweet. And uh, we have found out who's down here. This is Tartary. And we're going to show you this is a DE nation, so it's not part of the base game. Tartary is a very interesting nation. I did not know anything about them until I saw their flag and then asked some people uh, what the hell was happening with Tartary, how do they work. And it's a very strange nation where... You can't really recruit hardly anything, I don't think, in, in forts. You can still build forts, but only palisades, and you basically recruit everything outside of forts. So it's kind of interesting, but you get a few things which are interesting. One is this guy, the Horseman Defender. He can't move, so he's immobile. He has no upkeep, and you can spam him out, just limited on your recruitment points. And... That's interesting because you can do this in conjunction with a moderate PD dump and have some enormous force there. Uh, these guys can also, I think they can patrol. Yeah, so you can patrol with them. Um, yeah, I think they're kind of ridiculous in a way. Uh, it's going to be very, very hard to fight into these dudes. Very, very hard. And they're only five gold. Um... They also have a few varieties of these horse warriors. Basically, think of these like uh, like late age TNG. They get a bunch of stuff. Is that guy sacred? No. 
I think one that's got the heavy lance charge. I can't remember. Light lance, light lance. Here's the normal lance. This guy is a normal lance. The heavy horse warrior. Yeah, these guys are ridiculous. 20 gold for this is such a good deal. They do so much damage. With a big freaking lance charge. Um, fortunately, and they, all these guys, most of these guys have bows. So that's also a thing. Um, yeah. So, we actually have a lot of the tools to deal with these. We're going to need a lot of uh, wolf chaff, because the wolf chaff will distract the archers, you know, the, the arrows that are going to come out at the beginning. And most importantly, they're going to absorb lance charges. And once I take the lances off of these guys, and then I've got heavy infantry, maybe with a bit of archers. Honestly, I don't even think I really need the archers. But just my really heavy infantry... Like, these guys are not... Uh, we'll take the heavy guy. Um, this will basically be doing chip damage to a guy with 21 protection. Uh, yeah. So, we'll see. I think... I think if we... Actually, I kind of want to test it. Okay, we're going to test it real quick. We're on turn 4, right? We're on turn 4. Save game and quit. Um, so we're going to do Tartary. Just want to see how it does. Who is stronger? Tartary and Ulm. New Ulm. Okay. Okay, and Ulm, we're going to make a few of these guys and a few of you. And Tartary, we're going to make one of you. All right. Who is stronger? And we'll bring a wolf herd here. Okay, and all we're gonna do. Oh wait, I need I need some wolves. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you and two of you guys. Okay, patrol. We're gonna have this guy come back, and so this is the only dude that's gonna be here. We'll put the wolf in front, and does twenty gold of these dudes do better? That is the question. Than 20 golds of Tartary dudes. Oh, this commander cannot lead any units. Okay. And let's have you run in here. Who wins? Yeah, that's what I thought. And this gets way worse as soon as we get Legions of Steel. It gets way worse. Now, given we have way more resources invested in this dude. So we're not going to be able to mass these guys, I don't think, as well as he will. But he also doesn't get the forts to get the resources. But he also gets them everywhere. So we'll see. He can. You can have a lot of those dudes. Um, anyway, back to turn four. Uh, yeah, we're going to actually attack here. Which, this is in this guy's cap circle. Uh, the reason we're attacking is because our Dominion's here, and because this is worth this much money. Um, and I honestly don't think... Like, there's no point in me pretending to be nice. Like, I have to get off this island, and this is my only way off. Um, so yeah, this is basically going to be in a war declaration with Tartary. But I don't think... I can't attack him in his Dominion, but I don't think he can attack me in mine. 
So we're just going to come here and fire closest. Um, we're going out that we got a death random here. So we're going to go out and site search with the death random. Uh, over here, we beat the pale ones, and then we're coming over to hit this, and then we'll hit this, and then we'll wander back. Uh, we had gotten a commander to lead an army, and we've got uh, some dudes being recruited, and next turn we'll take the combined force and probably hit the barbs, or we could also come down and hit the forest trolls. I'm not exactly sure which one I'll do, but those are both options. Um... Yeah, that's basically the play, guys, for this turn. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to the next turn, which is my current turn. And it's taking a moment. It is certainly taking a moment. It's cogitating. It's thinking really hard. Here we go. So we come down here, and I was expecting we might bump too. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I would have won the bump. Do, 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 do. All right, squish. And. Here we're attacking. This is a decent province in terms of income, I think. This one we're attacking up north. And down south. Wait, no, that was already that. So anyway, we've taken both those. Uh, we have an event where stars are going to be right for construction, so it does not matter much. And uh, so Tartary messages me this turn, and he says, uh, hey, can we negotiate you giving this back to me? And uh, I was like, dude, like I normally would want to, or like be game for it, and I, this is like obviously an unfair border, but I have to get off this fucking island. <laughs> like, I don't have a choice. So if you want to fight early, like I'm going to have to get off this island. And he said, okay, I guess we can do it with this, if you, as long as you don't want more of my cap circle. He, by the way, has a very balanced six cap ring province, right? This is cap. So he's got one, two, three, four, five, six. He's got a lot of provinces. So he's still going to be able to get, you know, a lot of units. Um, but anyway, we'll see. He, we, we did agree to it, like Nap asked, until turn 12 that I get to keep this now. At turn 12, it does not go over to him. At turn 12, we then are going to rediscuss if we're going to have a nap or not. Um, he could attack me. If he just attacks me with this many guys, there's a chance, I think with 10 PD, we can probably kill him with this guy here because he's going to be sniping one a turn. Uh, I might need a little bit more. I kind of don't want to dump too much. I have to choose where I'm going to build my fort. I could build it here, which would be very risky, because it's probably going to be getting locked down a lot by raiders. Unless I... I was considering PD dumping. Before we had talked, I did a huge PD dump, expecting him to attack. Um, yeah. <laughs> but this hopefully gives us time. The main thing, because we did come to an agreement, is I need to get down... I need to get this province secured. So we'll have to see. If he gets up here, we're going to have major troubles. But I think he's probably got plenty of stuff down here to go eat. And so he's probably going to get as much of this as he can and then come back up and deal with me later. Um, fortunately, I think crossbows with um, like Zweihanders protecting flanks should be pretty effective against these guys. But I don't know how many they can get. Because I've heard Tartary's really, like, overpowered. And they're very, very strong early because of all this foreign recruit stuff they can do. Um, we're going to go hit this Barbarian province, which is kind of unfortunate because there's no way to get from here to here. So I basically have to hit it and then come back out. But it's kind of the easiest province for Rangers to hit. And... 
I don't know. It just sucks, though, because we either have to come over here and hit these horse tribe, which I don't particularly want to do. Um, or, I mean, I guess I could take this. Yeah, I don't really want to. So anyway, we got to figure out what we're going to do, and I'm not sure. But I do want to get this star at some point. Uh, I think we're going to hit this, then we're going to backtrack, then we're going to hit this, and then... Oh, from here we can't even make it down. How do we get over here? Oh, this is like a complete dead end. This is like the the death, like the biggest waste of an expansion party turns. Going one in, okay, back, one out. This is the worst start. It's probably not the worst, but it's up there. It's a pretty bad one. Um... It might be worse to like start on a peninsula, but even then, maybe not. Uh, anyway, uh, that's basically what we're doing. So I uh, hope you all enjoying it, and I will see you next time. Cheers.